Welcome back to TYT Sports. We're gonna talk some NBA basketball because uh, although it's tournament week, we'll get you more tournament stuff coming Thursday, Friday. Some some Snapchats. I'm thinking, by the way, Ron Allen crash out in the first round. Don't don't. Optimism, kid. <laughs> optimism. Okay, we're all Rhode Island fans. You have no no. We are basis. all Rhode Island. We are all Rhode Island. We can all fit in there. It will. Fit, like, we can fit about twenty of us in Rhode Island, and then we're at capacity. Small state. Um, we're gonna talk about the Wizards and why they're storming to the top of power rankings. But I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, creating a TYT Sports Snapchat. Maybe. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I'm let sure me know they want to see. Guys think can we take control of it when we go to the gym and go anywhere and just like just have us? Whoa! So trying close. to get back in shot, back in shot. All right. Yeah, um, I'm down for it. I can yeah. sit right here, Edwin. Don't worry. I want the world to see that we uh, that we just watch basketball all day long. Uh, so in terms of the Wizards, they have creeped into a lot of the uh, CBS Sports number one on their power rankings. Nah. And the funny thing about power rankings is it's weekly. No, they're not number one. But uh, David Aldridge, who, again, I still consider one of the better writers, NBA.com, knows what he's doing. Uh, the parentheses is their record from last week. The, the other bracket, whatever you want to call those. Uh, the other parentheses is their rank from the week before. The Wizards, number six, seems fair. 4-0. Uh, and oh. Francis, they've started to figure out that while the top tier teams are a little bit bad, uh, injured, a little bruised, right? You know, Katie's out, the Warriors can't shoot threes, and the Cavs are defense is slipping, and the, the Rockets and the Spurs are fighting each other, right? The Wizards have corrected the fact that they are now pretty good on the road. At least they can beat opponents. Storming back from 20 down against the Portland Trail Blazers, if that happened in November, they would have got trounced. Yeah, I was going to say that. If it happened last year, I mean, yeah, this year, collectively, they've gotten better at home. They're one of the most dominant teams in the East at home. I think they are the most dominant. The most home dominant, I think, by the, the record. But last year and the year before, I mean, they've always had the foundations of a good team that could be mm. great. Yes. Um, but they are away form, which, by the way, is on the road, as you say here in America. You say away form? You could say away form. I we started it. using it. Scottish. I'm just inter yeah. integrating all your You're language. You're British American. What Brim part You're of American. Scotland is Britain in? Americish. What part of England is Scotland in? And uh, so, yeah, their, their away form has gotten far, far better. And the, all, the misconception in the NBA is that, yeah, you can have a fantastic um, uh, home record, but you need to at least be winning some amount of games at home, and you need to be at least on competing with some of the uh, on the road, sorry, but at least competing with some of these teams and be beating teams like Portland Trail Trailblazers when they take a 21-point lead at halftime. As you're right, like the, if this was back November, if this was back last season, you would have just marked that game off as an L for the Wizards. Um, but they bounced back. <laughs> no. And, uh, and they bounced back like Big Sean. I was um, just about to say. God and he, in his song, he said, I took an L and, and I, bounced I bounced back. back. That's what the Wizards are doing right now. So, uh, yeah, like under the guidance of quality players, like we know how good John Wall is. We know that this is someone that we've always touted as one of the best point guards in the league, but whether the numbers for the team collectively were able to back up his individual statistics that were always mm. good. That was always the point. But the Wizards look like the real deal this year, man. I think the Eastern Conference has looked its most competitive this year from what I've seen in the last couple. It's getting slightly more top-heavy, you know? They're uh, uh, the Celtics, the Wizards, and the Raptors. They're not deadly threats no. to the Cavaliers, but they are six-game series against the Cavaliers. I don't think... The Cavs have the easiest route to the finals as compared to last year and the year before. Yes. Now, I think the one thing everyone has to pump the, the brakes on when it comes to both conferences, you want Steph Curry shooting 30% now because then he has time to adjust. And if Kevin Durant's back for the, like the playoffs, this notion that the Rockets, Spurs, uh, and Jazz are going to just Bounce on the Warriors and make them and have a, a five game exit to me is insanity. This is the same exact logic, by the way, as those who don't look great in their conference tournament in the NCAA, right? And then go on to win the tournament itself. That type of deal. March basketball, it's you're getting into the doldrums of the season, you're getting a little bit banged up. Start resting your guys. So when people small say, potatoes. Small potatoes. It is. It really is. Uh, there's two stats, though, uh, for one that kind of just show what the Wizards are doing really, really well. Uh, in terms of field goal percentage, a lot of the knocks on John Wall is he can't shoot from outside that much. He's getting slightly better at that, but one of their best lineups in the NBA, one of the most efficient shooting lineups in the NBA, is Beal Gortat, Morris, Oubre, 
and John. Take a Hall. look at the top. Look at the Frank the Tank. <laughs> oh my Charlotte. God! Keep them up. Now they're playing uh, not too many minutes in that series, but, but still, still, neither neither necessarily are the what do you call it? The Bradley Beal, uh, John Wall, Gortat, Morris, Uber lineup. But still, it's it's worth noting. And then uh, also plus minus the second one, they're way even higher. I think. Oh no, they're fifth uh, with the fifth best uh, offensive and defensive plus minus on the court. Uh, the same one. This one has Gortat, Morris, Beal, Porter, and John Wall, yeah. and they still shoot. 49.8% from the field. Wow. Not bad. Not, Not bad, bad. In 19.9 minutes. So the point being, and I know people are going to say like they're only playing like three or four minutes during that graphic, that, that is to really show in the field goal percentage one, not the plus minus. That's to show the depth of the team, that they have these different lineups that play only a couple minutes together on the court, and even in those small sample size of minutes, they're putting the ball in the net at a ridiculously high rate. It's going to be... Just interesting to see how the Eastern Conference shapes up because, as mm. you mentioned, like uh, what I meant by my earlier comment is that it's competitive. I meant more the top four, top five, um, despite how good Toronto what else looked could last you year. Ask for? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, I, throughout, I mean, I'm just in the Premier League set of mind that relegation battles interest. Yeah, I guess my, teams my point to being get that was the like there's just this knock that last year it's, yeah. it was it was the Cavs well, and no one else. Well, even the, even with that, I would say it was the Cavs, but I'd say it went it went. Cleveland, Toronto, the and then off. I think it was a drop off Cliff. of like five, six, uh, I don't know, Cliff. rankings, cliffs, a five, five Cliff. six foot cliff. Um, no. Whereas in the, the Western Conference, yeah, the Golden State Warriors were the best team last year, but we saw how exciting the game against Oklahoma City was. Mm. You know, we saw how close they were at certain periods of the time. Like the Cavs mm. dropped their first game against Toronto throughout the whole series. That was the first game they dropped. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I had to take so insane. much heat for that. It's, um, <laughs> but. This year, I'm not saying that the Cavs aren't still the favorites, but they're going to have to be thinking, if you come up against the Wizards, man, this is a team that at home, they're as confident as anyone in the NBA. Mm. They've got some of the best shooters, um, a, a great backcourt, and I think that they're definitely going to be a, a team to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm still going to obviously state that the Cavs, I think, will go through and yes. will, will win the Eastern Conference, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be an exciting finals where if they come up to someone like We're the We're going to get some amazing, amazing playoff series. This is probably the most uh, exciting playoffs Boston fans will be paper. excited for it. You're going to get it for about three years. Boston should be excited too. That seeding is going to have a major effect, by the way. If you're the two seed, if you're the Wizards, you have to fight for that two seed. Yeah, so absolutely. you get four games on your home court until you play the Cavs. You need those. Uh, it, granted, the road form of, of late is definitely... Promising. Lastly, uh, not a great trip for Markeith Morris, who uh, booed in Phoenix. Ah. Which, I mean, you know, it's fine. You got Booker, though, and he was phew, deadly in his uh, weekend game winner. Uh, and then he kicked who in the nuts? Miles Plumley. Have I ever told you my favorite game to wrap up on this? Have they ever had a Plumley? <laughs> so no. there's three Plumley brothers, Miles, Mason, and one more that doesn't matter. Um, he's played on the Whoa. Knicks like twice. It's not like the Baldwin brother. Um, it's like, it is like it's like the third or fourth Baldwin brother. And the game pretty much is you name a team and you say, have they ever had a Plumley? I think 14 NBA teams <laughs> have had a Plumley. So you have a good shot. Blazers, have they had a Plumley? Yes or no? Yes. They have. Mason Plumley. How many Plumleys though? Because one of them get kicked in the nuts. I'm sure their plums <laughs> have been reduced to plum. Ugh, just one little plum. All right, comment below. He got fined twenty five thousand dollars. Whoa! But uh, he blamed kinesiology also. <laughs> <laughs> like, favorite, subscribe. Are the Wizards going to make the Eastern Conference Finals and play the Cavs in six games and lose, or is it going to be the Raptors or the Celtics? Let us know. Favorite, like.